You're in Clark County Engine 61, and you're about to hit a speed bump. <laughs> Say you're on your way to a fire, but you've got to slow to 30 miles an hour. Even so, when you come across one of these, hold on tight. Oh, oh, man. Engine 61, it looks like you may have uh, loosened the big ladder. You might want to check that. And it's hard on everything. I mean, we didn't even check, you know, saws. Just like your camera. The saws are taking a jolt every time you go over a speed bump. So, I, you know, everything has to be strapped down. But this unassuming median strip may be the answer, saving equipment, maintenance, and most importantly, seven seconds at each speed bump. Doesn't look like a big deal, does it? Just a little kind of a curve, but this could be a solution to a national problem, helping fire districts and across the entire nation. It's just a curb median in the middle that the um, fire engines can go over and bumps on the sides and kind of a win-win. It is real simple. The beauty of this design is that it forces cars to go over the bump, slowing down speeders. And that's great for all the neighbors on 94th Street. The school folks are happy, the Little League's happy, the neighbors are happy. Uh, we're relatively happy. Uh, it works well. And uh, it was just one of those really good compromises that, that has helped everybody. They're not cheap. They cost about $8,500 a piece. But if they save your life, how much is that worth to you? In Vancouver, for KTCI News 44, David Schmidtke, Coin 6 News.